Welcome along to Virgin Media Park in Cork for round 11 of the United Rugby Championship. It's Munster against Zebra. Josh Witcherly and John Ryan come into the Munster front row tonight as Graham Rowntree makes four changes from the side that beat the Scarlets comprehensively in the end in West Wales in round 10. The back five in the forward pack remains unchanged. Craig Casey and Tony Butler all change in the half-backs, replacing Joey Carberry and Connor Murray. Otherwise, it's the same backline from a couple of weeks ago at Parky Scarlets. Sean O'Brien among the tries last time out, and Mike Haley got 73 minutes on his return from an eighth-month injury layoff. Ethan Coughlin and Ben O'Connor among the replacements today, so four academy players in that matchday squad of 23. Luca Rizzoli returns to the Zebra front row, one of seven changes from the side beaten narrowly by Edinburgh last time out. Leonard Crumhoff makes his 100th appearance for the Parma club alongside the returning David Sisi in the second row. All change in the half-backs for the visitors as well. Alessandro Fusco and Tiff Eden starting. The other switch from round 10 see Scott Gregory start on the right wing in place of Pierre Bruno. <laughs> Flanked by Andrew Brace and Sam Holt. Sean Brickle is the television match official. And we are underway in Off round 11 of the United Rugby Championship events in Cork and Munster on the front foot. A little pop pass back inside from Nankerville to Gavin Coombs, who was at his wrecking ball best against the Scarlets a couple of weeks ago. Two brilliant tries from close range. That typical Munster multi phase pressure, and if that pass had it gone to hand, it does go to hand eventually. And Munster rampaging forward inside the opening six minutes. The pass from RG Snyman to Ruan Quinn. And this is where RG Snyman just comes from nowhere. He actually comes across Ruan Quinn, blindsides the defence, and then Ruan King get, Quinn gets the, the offload and transfers it to the opposite wing. And Shane Daly just presses the accelerator and ghosts past two or three blue jerseys and Mike Haley, nobody lays a glove on him, he's got a free run to the line, broad smiles on the face of Mike Haley and he's had the better part of nine months to wait to be back in try scoring action in the URC. Ball still there now, ten phases, good attempt by Rizzoli. He's so strong, Mohamed Asa is very strong too and he's got that down the tight head prop, that's brilliant. Really good stuff from Zebra Palmer, deserved that try. In case he keeps it on the field of play and into the hands of Geronimo Priscientelli. Munster heads up, they need to be so careful. He's really alive on the ball and he feeds it off to the try score, Mohamed Asa. This is brilliant stuff at times from Zebra Parma. Time off. We we'll get a penalty oh, here, it's going to be straight to the kill. pocket, yeah. Coombs in position. Pops it out, one and Munster go again, inching closer and ever closer to that line. Hands up! No third try just yet. Watch out for Gavin Coombs. How often do we see him in that position? And then Snyman over the top. Zebra now need to be careful. Penalty concession inside the red zone. There's the space, lovely pass. And a straightforward try. It's two and two games in the URC for Sean O'Brien, and that's the bonus point up in court. Let Monster him go. Can go. It's a big space here for Nankerville. Off He's goes go Casey. Oh, Casey holds on. Nobody touches him and straight through the middle. Five star first half performance by Monster. Antoine Frisch cruises in for his seventh Monster try. All the way over the top, and it's gift wrapped. And a good read for Ruan Quinn, who gets his second try of the evening. The Munster do have their sixth. Mike Prendergast saying this week they played really well in the opening 20 and the closing 20 and weren't great for the 40 in between. They'll want to play for the full 80 here. They'd have to have heads up in defence. Was that forward from Prisky and Deli? Jesse back inside. Opportunity for the replacement scrum half to counter in for a try. Thomas Dominguez. Doing a lot of tackling, a lot of defending this Ebra Parma side. You would Tackle venture that they'll be a little bit fatigued, but they're still full of fight to their credit. Archer. A little bit loose in behind, and Prisky Antelli, he's a lovely footballer. What can he do here on the chase? It's still going, and he might just get there. He does, and he deserves that. Slow coming back. And they spin around the side, the referee in position, they've got another try. Brilliant. And it's the 
big replacement second row Dylan Delu, the South African the 22 year old not this time it's there for Cochlet what a monster do here minute or so to go Gavin Coombs out the back to Scandal around the corner they come Healy brilliant tackle but they get it free and Daly not to be denied and it's Shane Daly who surely now has the final say and Munster have the final say and that will paper over a few of the cracks and doesn't Shane Daly deserve that try it's been a long time coming it's Munster who finish on the front foot with Shane Daly in that seventh try the conversion attempt not to be across the face of the post but what a game we've had